Hi, I'm Drummer Snappy Smith, and welcome to Lesson 7 of the Couch Series. Again, you and me on a couch with a practice pad, going over those great lessons and exercises as taught to me by Freddie Gruber. And in the past two lessons, we've been going through the uh, figure control book by Roy Burns. And uh, in this uh, lesson, I'm going to be covering the accent exercises uh, in that book. And uh, this is where Freddie taught me a, uh, the very important uh, whip motion or whip accent. And uh, to kind of set it up briefly, um, you know, again, uh, everything comes from a real nice level strike position. And uh, in review, if you remember in the first couple of exercises, uh, I showed you kind of a re forward release. So uh, you're coming forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down, right? Forward, up, back. So uh, the whip motion is pretty much the exact opposite of that. Uh, what makes it unique is that it's really motivated and led by your elbow. So uh, in your right hand, um, coming from your strike position, uh, the elbow kind of comes back and out a little bit, kind of kicks out a little bit, and you do a, a release, kind of a back release, up, forward, down. So we're going back, up, forward, down. And left hand, again, elbow kind of kicking out a little bit. Kind of rolls the hand in a little bit this way, but you're kind of getting that, that release. Back, up, forward, down. Back, up, forward, down. So that's kind of the whip accent you know, or the reverse release. And it's good to kind of really, uh, at this point, kind of make you aware of kind of really dynamically what's going on with that experience or with that kind of accent, why it, why it feels like a whip. And basically, as you're coming back, of course, you're releasing, which is uh, shifting the weight to the front part of the stick. As you're coming up and forward, we're leveling out. And the stick is just resting between my uh, fulcrum kind of middle finger here and the back palm of my hand. So it's just really free and kind of leveled out and balanced that way. So as you kind of come up, you're leveling the stick out, and then as you come down for your accent, you're leading from your forearm and, and kind of pulling that stick down from that level position to where the weight shifts to the back part of the stick. So release, up, level the stick out, and then whip it down. Left hand, release, up, level that stick out, and here it's just resting on the crotch of my thumb and my finger. So it really is kind of balanced. Up, back, level, and then coming down with the forearm, pulling from uh, my fulcrum point back here into my strike position. Back, up, forward, down. And again, shifting that weight back. So as you come down, the stick is actually kind of hitting off the drum that way a little bit. All right? So when you strike, you see the stick has a little bit of, a, of an upward elevation. It's not you know, hitting this way. It's, and that really helps the sound come out of the drum. Now, uh, the second step to this exercise is kind of important. And uh, this is really kind of what kind of opened my mind to uh, another dimension of drumming. Uh, so I'll just read it to you, what Freddie wrote here. Um, of course, we do the whip, the whip uh, exercise, and then step two, alternate one apiece with reverse release. Remember that, reverse release. Strike on the ass end of the bead, which would be kind of the back part of the bead. So you don't want the stick to go in and on this way. You want to be able to kind of come off that way. Ass end of the bead. Uh, and hand comes below shell into pickup position. Let it pop off. So, where we've always been doing those kind of fulcrum wrist bounces and those pickups, everything's been like this, you know, off the top of the drum. Now we're going to do something much different. This is kind of our, our pickup position, right? Now watch this. I come, do my whip motion, and when I come down, I'm going to go and let my forearm carry through, and I'm going to let the stick pop off into a reverse release. So I'm actually going to release below the level of the drum. 
Up. Oops. Up. Whip up. I'm going to actually now, I'm going to pull the arm down below that level strike position and allow the stick to kind of pop up and back. And, and I'm actually kind of doing my release position, my strike position below the level of the drum. So I'm, I've got this now going on. Right, rather than here, now I'm going here. So we're really playing through and beyond the level of the drum. And this kind of opens up um, uh, an experience I had when I was a young kid taking a few little karate lessons and I had the teacher, uh, uh, the teacher had us uh, um, experience breaking a board. It was these little cheap little pine boards, it didn't take much. But the concept was that you don't focus on the board you're striking, you focus on a point beyond the board. And you just forget that the board is there. You just strike right through to a point beyond the board, and the board automatically breaks. And um, so the same concept really can be applied now towards drumming. You know, if you're just focusing on the drum, then that's kind of your, you psychologically kind of stop there. You kind of, you know, but if you think that there's an area below the drum, then it lets your energy kind of f follow through better. And I think you get more volume and more sound out of the drum. So this is kind of really what you're experiencing here when you're doing this reverse release rather than, you know, reverse release. Okay, so then uh, that was step two and then finally step three in this whole process of developing was, uh, you know, to not go below the shell of the drum but now to pop off. And this is where he taught that pop drop exercise as I taught, I think, in lesson three or four in the Buddy Rich book. Um, so now we've kind of done the whip motion, we've done this reverse release, where we're here, but rather than stopping, we're now in a position where the stick now is ready, is able to kind of come right back up. So we're going, by going below, we're allowing the stick to kind of come up easier. So we whip, and by kind of pulling down into your kind of pickup position, now you're ready to come right up with your arm. So, so I guess what I really want to kind of convey here is that um, this exercise kind of really help, should help you kind of appreciate the role that the arm, the forearm, plays in your drumming. This is where the forearm, more than ever, starts to really uh, become an important part of drum technique because it allows you to kind of, you know, move below the level of the drum and come up. And even though, you know, no, no teacher is going to tell you to play from your arms, uh, you're going to find that when it comes down to really ex advanced drumming, a lot comes from the arm, from the forearm. And then your hand and your fingers are free to, uh, you know, to work around that. But, uh, you know, this is, the forearm motion becomes really important. And from that whip exercise and that awareness of a reverse release and kind of that level below the drum, that's where you start to understand what the system is. And this is where the system comes out of, is this concept that, you know, there is this below and above point to your playing field. And usually it comes from the arm, and it's, it's taking that fulcrum wrist bounce that we taught, now, rather than being one-dimensional, now we're going to go and kind of get this rocking motion. Go from wrist bounce, and then we're going to do
So I'll get into later how that's applied and how that kind of really influences a lot of your drumming, but uh, that's kind of how this all came about for me, at least, in my development and my study with Freddie. That's how I kind of like started like, aha moment, you know? Um, to get back to just uh, the finger control exercises here, again, this is an accent exercise uh, piece and, uh, you know, knowing how to do that whip motion um, in its basic sense, that kind of using your arm and your elbow to kind of, kind of get that extra kick out of the stick. Uh, the exercise is basically things like triplets, you know, fulcrum wrist bouncer fingers. And then pulling from here to get that little extra kick. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you're trying to like move without, without interfering with what's going on with the stick. So it's all kind of around the stick. It's all kind of around that fulcrum point. So, uh, that's the uh, ex accent exercises in the um, uh, finger control book, and I think that was a good lesson to learn the famous, important whip exercise as taught by Freddie. And uh, I think I kind of opened the door, gave you a glimpse into uh, kind of what the system is about. So, uh, getting into the next lessons, then we'll continue on. I'll probably be done with this book, and we'll continue on with uh, applying the system and uh, fun things you can do with it. All right, so till next time, keep it snappy. Thanks, bye-bye.